All right, we have Christy Street from the University of Newcastle. Christy has just uh, presented our students throughout the day uh, some information about creative industries, and Christy's going to share with us some stories about her career path up until now. Okay, well, mine's a bit convoluted. I started at university doing a Bachelor of Commerce because my father thought that the best thing I could do would be get a business degree. And funnily enough, it has actually come in handy throughout my life, but when I finished my degree, I went straight to London and auditioned and became an actor, um, studying one of the big schools in London, and then worked on the West End for two years, uh, then went to New York and worked on Broadway, and got back to Australia and I, I toured Australia performing uh, for about three years and I just got really tired of it and I decided that I actually wanted more control over my life. Um, so I ended up going into directing and I accidentally, believe it or not, fell into film directing because I was surrounded at the time with a whole group of friends who were filmmakers and that's what I did. I started working in film I did uh, a reasonable amount of time, almost two years, with Fox, um, making promo videos and things like that, uh, and then got a lot of projects doing short films and short documentaries, and um, did that. So, and I loved directing, and in the process, I even started running a film festival, which was where my business degree came in handy, because I started running my own business, I guess, running a film festival where you had to come and make a film in 24 hours. And um, then my life took a whole nother turn and I, I'm now teaching media production at university. So I've gone almost full circle coming right back around to university and now teaching what I love to do. Very interesting, Christy. So would you imagine therefore the diversity in creative industries is very much part of a career path? Well, yeah, I, I think if you're a creative person, you're going to continue to find the, what challenges you. And I, that's what happened for me. I just kept finding what challenged me. And I, I thought it was really interesting when I got to be doing the film festival thing because all of a sudden my sort of left brain and my right brain met and I had this sort of business thing that I was working on but it was also creative. And all those skills that I'd learnt up until that point came to the fore. And, and I guess likewise um, doing teaching at university now, um, all the skills I've learned, which is, I, I mean, I've left out some sections, like I, I worked doing sort of event management and stage management for a while because I desperately needed money as a poor struggling actress. Um, but all those skills sort of built up to where I am now. And if I hadn't have gone that path, I probably wouldn't have found where I am now. Wonderful, and, and Christy, just to finish up, if you were to give a student one piece of advice, what would that advice be in terms of creative industries and making a, a path in creative industries? Uh, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is to do it. And I don't mean sit around talking about it. I mean, if you want to be an artist, pick up that pen and do it. If you want to be a filmmaker, grab your phone, grab a camera, make films. Um, because at the end of the day, it's those little projects and those those products that you're creating that will get you the next job. And on top of that, you've always got to be enthusiastic. And every person you meet is a possible job, you know. And so you want to, when you work with people, leave them with a really good impression so that they think of you next time they're looking for someone to direct their film. Wonderful. Thanks very much for your time, Christy. Will that do it? <laughs>